Hello, it is Tuesday, April 26th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle, so it should be another fairly approachable themed puzzle, just as we had yesterday. And this hopefully approachable edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Henrik Koskinen, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel and helping make this series a sustainable part of my daily work. I do very much appreciate that. And thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any tier. Uh, that is um, that is very much appreciated by me, and it will get you access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So do check those out if you are a backer, and thank you if you are. And uh, thank you if you're a subscriber to the channel, which is free, of course. Um, also free is the Daily Solve Discord chat server, where the community um, hangs out, posts Wordle scores, discusses the daily crossword, and posts um, crosswords they themselves have constructed, which is uh, very impressive, and I, I like solving those for the Patreon each month. Um, as a Patreon backer, you can get an extra channel in that Discord chat server, but the rest of it is free. Okay, let's move on to today's puzzle. It is, as I said, a Tuesday puzzle, of course. It was constructed by Simon Murat, who has constructed a few New York Times crosswords, not too many, and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So, shall we get started? I think we shall. Okay. It doesn't say okay anymore, but it's still, I've internalized that button as okay even though now it says play, so we'll play. Dance that might be accompanied by a fiddle, perhaps a jig, you could dance a jig um, accompanied by a fiddler. Styling products could be hair gels, and to link something could be to join it to something else. If you're not doing anything, you're idle. And let's just look at the crosses here to make sure, I've noticed I've missed a few crosses recently because I've just gone past them. Uh, a laudatory work is an ode. So the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, an ode would laud something, a Grecian urn perhaps. And if you're under the weather, you're feeling ill. Rainy day savings could be a nest egg. I think that strangely has been in a, another recent crossword. Uh, and many a high school student is a teen, teenager. And heavy hardcovers could be tomes. They don't need to be hardcovers necessarily, but I think tomes does evoke more of a hardcover image. QB's six-pointer. So this will be quarterback. So this is an NFL thing. Uh, and I don't know the answer. <laughs> oh, is it a touchdown? Uh, how does that fit? I don't know. I assume we're not going to have a rebus on a Tuesday puzzle. That would be surprising. Although we did have the word rebus in yesterday's puzzle, I think. Forecast provider, an oracle, so, uh, someone who forecasts things. Oh, and here, this looks like our theme. So Five Down says Trixie Mattel, e.g. Is that a character, Trixie? Is that a character from a, a musical? This Because Eleven here says so this is our revealer, our revealer in an unusual vertical position, the revealer being the answer that ties together the themed clues and answers. And this, whoa, this says, all time low, or a musical hint to the answers to this puzzle's starred clues. I don't know. Let's just keep, keep solving as normal. Feeling of guilt, you could have a pang of guilt. A German inter interjection could be ach. And impolite sounds at the dinner table. You could slurp your soup. Slurps, that would be a bit impolite. Jason of Freaks and Geeks. Um, I think I can sort of picture this person in my head, but I can't think of his name. Uh, what about this? Bros Embrace, a man hug, I guess. Seems like sort of a pointless modifier to hug, but fair enough. Um... Jason, oh, Sagal? Is it Sager or Sagal? Something like that. Jason Sagal, maybe? Maybe I'll leave that. Self-confidence. Uplift? 2005's King Kong and 2021's Dune. 
remakes. You could argue if that's true or not. Probably in the case of King Kong, it would be accurately described as a remake. Dune is sort of a second or third adaptation of a work. It's not necessarily a remake of a previous film. I don't know. It's maybe a bit pedantic. Sacred choral work could be a motet. This is a slightly obscure word for a Tuesday crossword, I would think. Um, or I could be wrong. Um, I mean, this is, <laughs> motet is a form of, uh, of religious choral work. So it could be the answer. Filling station, question mark. And there's the question mark means some kind of pun or wordplay is going on here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't assume about motet. What was this? Oh, self-confidence, right. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll delete that. I'm not, I wonder why I can't figure out self-confidence. I don't, I'm not very self-confident here. I don't have the answer. Oh, sure. That'll totally happen. I bet. Yeah, right. Something like that. This is the theme. Cousin of a bassoon. An oboe, presumably. Souvenirs from White House signings. Pens. Ah, right. I think the president often will um, use, you know, dozens of different pens when signing things, and then we'll give give the pens away to um, other people who are in the room, and then they will uh, keep them as souvenirs. Withdraw from as a class. Drop. You could drop a class in you know, a university class, for instance. Judicial cover up a robe. <laughs> so judicial here. Uh, obviously referring to courts and the law, um, but instead of being a cover-up in the sense of uh, in the sense of hiding misdeeds, um, the question mark means we have to read this in a punny way, and in this case, it actually means a more literal way. A judge's robes. Oh, dream on. Oh, sure, that'll totally happen. Dream on. There we go. Supply and demand subject would be econ economics. And self-confidence. Why don't I see what this is? So is this Sager, maybe? I don't know. Sacred choral work, right. Let's put that back in. And does that work here? Self-confidence. I really, this really is eroding my self-confidence, I'm sure. It's probably very obvious to many of you. I apologize. So this was rock bottom. Ah, there we go. All-time low, rock bottom. Oh, aplomb. There we go. Self-confidence, aplomb. Okay. I mean, that, that that fits perfectly well. I, Yeah. I suppose, I suppose because aplomb, we usually refer, we usually use it, use it to refer to a particular act. So he, he solved that crossword with aplomb. So in that case, you could say he solved it with self-confidence. I guess I was thinking of self-confidence as something that was more pervasive. In other words, that is a self-confident person. Whereas you could perform a particular act with aplomb, but not necessarily be habitually self-confident. Um, but I understand the meaning and I think it's fair enough. So this probably is Motet. And then Commando Movie Weapons. I actually have never seen Commando, but I'm guessing it has Uzis in it. <laughs> it's just my assumption. Actor Efron, Zac Efron I've heard of. Oh, so this was Jason Segel, by the way. Okay, that's what I thought initially. Trixie Mattel, drag queen, I'm guessing. T-O-T-D pass, touchdown pass, I guess that is. So the quarterback six-pointer, there we go, that makes sense. So drag queen must be, there must be a character named Trixie Mattel who is a drag queen in a musical, maybe, I'm guessing. And lawyer's titer, title, ESQ for Esquire. So there we have that. Musical ability could be your ear, you have a good ear or a bad ear. Contact free smooch and air kiss. Oh, uh, I see. So this isn't necessarily that Trixie Mattel is a character in a musical. The musical thing is, sorry, that means I was on the wrong track here. So um, rock bottom means the bottom of these clues are rock bands because here we have Queen an excellent rock band. And here we have Kiss, a rock band with which I'm actually almost entirely unfamiliar, I must admit. Um, but they're both rock bands. So they're the bottom of these clues, rock bottom. There we go. All right. So that makes sense. So these clues could be anything. So Contract Free Smooch, Trixie Mattel. So Trixie Mattel is a drag queen. Contract Free Smooch is an air kiss. They don't 
those larger answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the theme. It's just the bottom half that does. All right, all, all clear, got it. Filling station. I don't know. Who might say who goes there? A sentry might say such a thing. Songs that may be accompanied by an organ. You could have an organ. You could have a hymn played on organ or accompanied by organ. Filling station. So is this tooth? That was my first thought, but why? Uh, filling station. I don't know. I think I'm missing something. Sorry. Apt rhyme for group. Troop. Why is this tooth? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, because you could have a filling in your teeth. Sorry. Yes. I see. All right. And it, there is the question mark there, of course. So it is a, pun, a bit of pun or wordplay. Uh, so yes, we're referring to a tooth as a station for a filling. All right. Destination for an Apollo mission would be the moon. Bahama Mama. I don't really know what that is, but it's a phrase I've heard. I don't know if it's sort of referring to something specific or if it's just kind of a general... I don't know, exclamation of surprise or enjoyment or something. I don't know. Hypes up could be amps up. And the up in parentheses means we're going to apply it both to the clue and to the answer. So we could just say hypes means amps. But when we add up, it makes it a bit, we add up to each of these, it, it makes the match a bit tighter. So hypes up is a bit of a tighter match with amps up. And that's what that up is doing there. It's a little hint, a little help. Dashboard stat, stat could be revolutions per minute on a, a tachyometer, right? On a dashboard of a vehicle. Pro, golf, pro golfer Calvin, I'm not sure. Sensation after consuming too many pixie sticks, perhaps. Well, the pixies is a rock band, but that's clearly not going to be the answer. Uh, sugar high? Sugar rush. Rush is a rock band. There we go. Put in fancy duds to deck out. Could deck someone out with fancy clothing. Early afternoon hour could be one o'clock. It's early in the afternoon. A gerund suffix is ing. So a gerund is, um, it's essentially a verb that's been turned into a noun. So solving the crossword, for instance, solving obviously comes from the verb solve, but we've now turned it into a noun. Um, well, it can be used as a noun. So you could say, um, I like solving. I like the act of solving. It's a thing. It's a noun you're saying. It's a thing that I like. Uh, so it's a gerund. Usually end in ing in English. On a cruise is a C at C. Fire felonies are arsons. The people's princess, Diana. Um, I was in a hospital and there was a portrait of Diana yesterday. I don't know why I just mentioned that. It was just the last, last time I saw Princess Diana in a photograph. Freshwater fish with a colorful name, redfin. I've heard of that before. Follows some dentist's advice. Flosses. Good thing to graduate with. You could graduate with honors. And safe havens. Fair and balanced type astrologically. I don't know. This will be one of the zodiac signs that corresponds to someone who has these traits, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember all the signs. <laughs> if I could, I could probably just infer the answer based on five letters with an R in the penultimate position, but I can't. Strong and, oh, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh no, oh no, they're just two fair and balanced type astrologically and strong and resilient type astrologically. Well, that's really nice. I appreciate that, even though I don't know the answer to either of them. <laughs> Uh, seasonal confection that may say, I love you, um, a candy heart for Valentine's Day. And heart is, of course, another rock band. Okay, so there we go. So we have all of them or not? We do. So we have queen, kiss, heart, and rush. There we go. Those are all um, sort of <laughs> very elemental rock band names, very, very sort of single solid words. All right, lingerie material could be made of lace. Neighbor of Af Afghanistan, um, Iran. Waste container could be a bin. Uh, so here we have Libra and Aries. So I may not have known 
Libra and Aries were respectively fair and balanced and strong and resilient, but I certainly have heard of them. Couldn't bring them to mind without some extra crosses, but there we go. And then here we have, ah, safe havens are asyla. So there we go, the, the um, plural of asylum. And they go up and down on a playground. Seesaws go up and down. To admit to something is to own up to it. And again, we have that parenthetical too. So we're adding it both to admit, but also to own up. So admit to, own up to. Embroidered, e.g., could be sewn, as in clothing. Historical periods are eras, and the lake below Huron would be Lake Erie, the great, two of the great lakes in, in North America. Historical periods are eras, let's see. What a tightrope walker walks on is wire, of course, and uh, makes after taxes is nets, so you net your post-tax income. Partial floor covering. A carpet? An area rug. Ah, there we go. That fits. Carpet would not be partial. It would be complete. Uh, still don't know the pro golfer, Calvin. Calvin. Knighted actor Guinness, Alec Guinness. Uh, of course, the great actor. Greek goddess of the soul would be Psyche. And discord is unrest, presumably. Beats me is no clue. Sometimes how I feel, for instance, when I was encountering this self-confidence aplomb clue initially. Cry me a river, goes the phrase. And then pro golf, pro, can't seem to say that very well. Pro golfer Calvin Pete, apparently. Fair enough. Don't think I've heard of that person, but maybe, I don't know, maybe in some crossword of years past. Place to find brain coral. A reef, I suppose. And to prod someone to do something is to urge them. To get bigger, of course, is to grow. So we'll just we'll just check the crosses as we finish this off. To slip up is to err. Attribute of many celebrities could be their ego, certainly. And hardly any of something is few of it. There we go. Few of them, I guess I should say. So here we had, this was a fun uh, theme. It was slightly more involved than a Monday or Tuesday theme often is. You still, We still didn't technically need it in order to solve the clues, because as it turned out, the clues were all, the clues to the total answers were straightforward. We had Drag Queen, Air Kiss, Sugar Rush, and Candy Heart, and those were all directly clued. But we got this fun additional element uh, involving Rock Bottom, the rock bands Queen, Kiss, Rush, and Heart. So good, good fun Tuesday puzzle, I think. And I think pretty reasonable elsewhere. We had a few slightly obscure phrases perhaps, but um, in general, I think it was reasonable. There were several proper nouns, actually, several relatively modern proper nouns, I guess, Segel, Zach, Pete. Uh, and then we had the, the zodiac signs, which completely eluded me, but got them with the crosses. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I think that was a good, well-pitched Tuesday puzzle. Hope you felt the same way. Let me know either way. And I will, uh, there were, I think, some clues from yesterday's puzzle that uh, bore some clarification. Yes, uh, quite a few people wrote in about this. So I'm just going, I chose one person's comment sort of arbitrarily, but so I apologize if you also commented about this. And, and uh, but I'm reading Harrison Talcott's comments about signs, S I N E the um, trig fun function, as it was clued in yesterday's puzzle. I was wondering why trig was contracted from trigonometry, because sign, so I thought, was the complete word. And uh, Harrison Talcott explains, sign can refer specifically to sign as in cosine, sine, and tangent. However, I think here it is the shorthand for sinusoidal, as in sinusoidal functions, which are graphs made of the trig ratios, the trigonometric ratios. So it is technically shorthand. So thank you for that clarification. I appreciate that. And, and like I said, several people wrote in with a similar answer. So uh, thank you. That didn't even occur to me, but it makes perfect sense when explained. Um, several people also wrote in. So again, I'm picking one comment about this, but uh, Cool Kev K wrote in to say, Funny to see animes be used as an official answer, as it's more commonly accepted that the plural is still anime. Japanese doesn't pluralize nouns. In fact, in some online circles, the phrase animes and 
mangas is often used as an indication that someone isn't as exposed to the culture or terminology yet. Um, fair enough. I think I would probably put myself in that category. Um, and then Fred says, it could be a sign the term has fully made it to English if it's beginning to take on English inflections. And uh, Cabe Sandia replies, yes, at this point, it's pretty much its own English word, considering how it already means something different to what it mean meant in Japanese. And that's interesting. Uh, and yes, that does tend to happen with loan words. They tend to, so, I mean, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but very, it's very common for loan words to take on English characteristics that might be grammatically strange in the source language. And uh, that may well be happening with anime. And finally, Elon Eitan points out that I missed a clue in an answering yesterday's puzzle. We just got it entirely through the crosses and I didn't notice and therefore never read the clue. And um, this person says, since you were blazing through this puzzle, you missed a clue entirely through crosses, 61 down, blank magnon. The answer, crow, makes Cro-Magnon, the earliest form of modern European humans we know of. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Elon, for pointing that out. I, I, would, I generally try to catch those, but obviously, as I have done a few times in the last few days, I sometimes fail. I think I managed to get them all today. I made a point um, for this reason because of that comment, so hopefully it worked. Anyway, that's that for today's puzzle, today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was the Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow for Wednesday of course, maybe a little bit of a step up in complexity of theme or difficulty of cluing. Uh, and I hope you'll join me for that. Um, and that's that. So until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>